Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome to another video. My name is Abby and this is Bobby, my little adventure dog. Actually he's 14 and he's very happy to just come chill with me when I'm shooting reviews in the shade. We both caught the sun a little bit because we've been sat up in the sunshine, um, but we're in the shade now like responsible people slash dogs <laughs> to talk about a new product I've been playing out with and uh, I basically want to share with you guys because the purpose of me shooting reviews within this platform is to educate and to empower. It's to give you information so that you can basically interpret that into your life and work out whether a product is for you or for not. Um, so we are talking about this. This is the Low Alpine Chilotzi rucksack. I never can quite say that properly. It's a 47 litre rucksack. So it's 42 plus five. That's the way they describe it. And we'll come to that a little bit later. And it's basically a rucksack that Low Alpine have designed for all season use in the mountains. It's got loads of different customizable features. You can make it big, you can make it small. Great for hut to hut stuff. Great for bivying, great for overnight adventures in the hills, whatever the weather may throw at you. Now it's not the lightest rucksack on the market in a sense that it weighs 1.77 kilograms as the small medium and large size and it retails at 175 pounds which I actually find very competitive. Um, now my general shebang when I'm talking about kit is to say try before you buy and if you find something that you really like see if you can get it secondhand. Give a piece of equipment a new lease of life. Join the Facebook group um, not just Facebook Marketplace, Outdoor Gear Exchange, the Shelter Exchange. There's a bunch of outdoor um, groups out there that you can get stuck into and find good deals. Um, eBay, Gumtree, whatever it is, because, you know, the more we can reuse and recycle, <laughs> the more we can encourage these schemes within the outdoor industry and help to protect and conserve the beautiful wild spaces that we love to get outside and explore. And so for me here at Wild, my purpose is all about inspiring and empowering. It's about seeing people get outside for the benefit of mental and physical health whilst building meaningful connections with the natural world and with each other. And before we finally get into the ins and outs of this review, because I'm going to be talking facts, figures and my general opinion, <laughs> uh, please hit subscribe if you enjoy this, if you find it helpful. If you've watched anything else on my channel, I'd really appreciate the support. Hit like, hit subscribe, share this video with someone who might be looking for a new pack. Um, and if you'd like to get stuck into my online community, please consider joining my Patreon platform, which is patreon.com forward slash spend more time in the wild, which is a really exclusive sort of behind the scenes space, really fun, really engaging uh, people from all around the world coming together, talking nonsense, talking hikes, adventures, biking, whatever it is, and just generally hanging out and having a good time. That was a long enough intro, wasn't it? Let's talk about rucksacks. Woo! Oh, it's like a whale. Pew! because apparently whales do that. Pew, pew, pew. <laughs> My dog is like, no. <laughs> right, let's talk about it. Low Alpine. So as I say, I've been playing with this rucksack and for me, I'm somebody who deals with chronic pain. And so rucksacks and, and gear and everything I carry with me, it's not just from a almost ego sense where I have to get things as light as possible. Things have to be comfortable, they have to be practical, they have to be adjustable so that I can manage the pain in my back and my neck um, from a long-term nerve damage situation shebang. Uh, and I've really enjoyed playing around with this rucksack. I, found, I have found it really well designed. So that's all I'm going to say opinion based right now. Let's get to the facts and the figures. So we've talked about the price, we talked about the weight. You can buy it in different sizes um, in terms of the torso size, which is adjustable. Um, but I'm just going to run through sort of the, the, the ins and outs and then we'll get to all the information that you need to know along the way. To kick this thing off, let's start with the top of the pack. We've got the nice logo and we have a top pocket, which I have to say, my current rucksack um, is so featureless, it's unbelievable. Uh, and coming back to a rucksack, which has all the pockets, is like, ooh, it's, it's like, <laughs> ooh, I don't know what that was, <laughs> but it's like that. Uh, so you've got a really nice size top pocket here. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, I could fit a waterproof in there, it's that big. Um, there's no sort of keychain attachment, but it's a sizable pocket if you want to keep first aid kit, snacks, um, whatever you keep in your top pocket. And then to basically make up what they call the additional five litres, which is this floaty top, um, there's an underlying zip pocket as well. So uh, there's actually a mountain distress signal information sheet here on the top, which is kind of helpful, although fingers crossed, you're never going to need that. And then we have this other zip here. And this is where the keychain toggle is. So you keep your keys in there, keep your wallet, your private stuff in there, passport, whatever. Um, and it all just fits nice and fine and dandy in the top there. And you can take this thing off. Um, you, so basically you don't have to use the lid. 
Uh, but for me, I'm, I'm a lid or a brain person because I'm brainy <laughs> and uh, it just works really nicely for me. So I've enjoyed using the top of this pack. The clips are really nice and robust throughout the entire product. Um, really easily glove compatible, sort of speaking to the four season use of the rucksack. So if we flip that one out of the way, we've then got this um, sort of access point to the main compartment. Uh, there's this reinforced um, V-shaped piece of fabric here. I don't know if it's like cardboard or something. And that clip then comes across to make up the top of the internal section. So you can really bulk this thing out. I mean, this is compressed right down because I used it for a day hike yesterday. Um, and uh, I'll, I'll obviously have within this review footage of it fully used and yada, yada, yada. Um, but it's, it, it's so adjustable. <laughs> and I'm, I'm not gonna lie, as I've already mentioned, I, I use a pack currently as my day pack that's very simple. And I do find at times when I've been playing around with this for the last couple of months, that I've got a little bit overwhelmed by all the straps and toggles and clips, but they have their advantages. They mean this is really customizable and you can make stuff fit, which is great. So we then pull the drawstring like this, which again is super easy to use. There's really nice handles there for if you've got gloves on, you can get in there, it feels strong and secure. And you've got the main compartment, which in most rucksacks, is just a big black hole. You put everything in there and you carry it a long way. But no, Low Alpine have gone a next level. And there is a reason why this rucksack weighs 1.77 kilograms. And that's because there's so much to it. So it's not just an internal vestibule. Inside of here, there is a hydration sleeve along the back. So you can put your water bladder if you're a camelback user or whatever. And then there's this very strange strangers a personal opinion um it could be helpful i've just not quite got on with it yet flap of fabric i mean you can see it here which is zips and we'll get to it in a minute but essentially it allows you to divide the rucksack into main compartment and bottom compartment and i find that quite an old school system actually i sort of remember that from the dv days i got kicked off dv so i can't speak too much from experience but when you've got your sort of bulky rucksack and you keep your sleeping bag in the bottom and it's protected by another layer from everything else and um I just find it interesting. I mean, it's, it is weird because I'm not used to it, but it's also perhaps interesting as a better word. Um, so that's for the main compartment and I'll show you that from a different angle in a minute. <laughs> Uh, we then have on the front, this um, front pocket, all with this really nice, strong, um, thick weaved denier fabric. Um, we'll come to the fabric in a minute. Um, it's got a couple of little mesh bits on the side see my hand there so that makes it nice and stretchy um and there's it's, it's sizable actually again you can um adjust that here with the side strap so you can really make that pull out if you want to um particularly when your pack is actually properly full so it, it's a good size space if you sort of think at the bottom um the average width of a water bottle kind of fits in there it sort of is a v-shaped in terms of the space that it creates um, but yeah, I quite like that. And uh, I find the reinforced fabric that they've got is another cardboardy piece here. Kind of an in, and again, interesting, <laughs> interesting situation. I can see why they've done it, but I have to say, whilst there is an incorporated rain cover in this rucksack, we'll come to that in a minute, um, it sort of just creates a bucket. <laughs> That's sort of what I found when I've been out in the rain. Um, there's a little drain hole at the bottom. You see my finger sticking out there. Hello. That's a bit weird, isn't it? Um, but yeah, it does create a bit of a bucket. Whereas I feel like if it wasn't reinforced, it would pull closer to the main product and then perhaps protect things a little bit more because this fabric is good stuff. So that's my little thought there anyway. The, the opinion keeps coming out. <laughs> so maybe this is just going to be a bit of an all-in-one kind of review. Um, so if I pull this tight, on these side straps, you've actually got the uh, walking pole attachments. So you stick your pole in there. It's a little bit fiddly, actually. It's probably the most fiddly thing out of the main pack experience, I would say. So your walking poles slide in there and then you can loop them in at the bottom here um, with these other toggles, which is quite nice. Um, and then sticking to the theme of the front of the rucksack, we can see here, we have many, many zips. <laughs> now there is a zip here, if I show you, that essentially um, allows you, well, yeah, it allows you to get, hang on, if I unclip it all, see what I mean? I'm already getting overwhelmed. <laughs> Into the full compartment of the rucksack. So this is what I meant by a different angle. So it's a front access rucksack as well as a top access rucksack, which is very interesting. Um, 
and I've never quite seen the point in that, but clearly they've gone for it. And then you can see here, this is this schnazzy piece of internal fabric, almost like a tongue, um, that really divides the rucksack. So you've got a top and a bottom part. And so when I've been playing around with this, I've led some walks in this, I've kept my emergency shelters and stuff there in the bottom, sleeping bags, whatever, things you don't really need until you've got your, your, your tent up. There you go, your tent can fit in there as well. Um, and it's, it's arguably a 50-50 divide. It's probably more like 60-40, um, but I've, I just find it a bit special. Um, I haven't, it's not, it's not removable, so I haven't removed it, um, but I don't know if it's a necessary feature for everybody, if that makes sense. And then when you've got it unzipped, because you just want the whole thing there, um, I've tried like rolling it up and stuff, but it just doesn't, doesn't really work. It's just kind of there. Um, let me just try that again, see if I'm missing something. No, you definitely can't roll it up. So it's just then there. Um, and then you've got full access to the, the space. And again, I'm not really sure the front access was necessary. I know some people really enjoy it as a, as a rucksack experience, but it's not for me. Um, and then additional to that, whilst we've got the stretchy front pocket, the access to the pack from the front, we also have another pocket <laughs> on this front front. Um, which again is just even more space so it's it's phenomenal what they've managed to cram into this rucksack and if you're somebody who likes to keep things in particular places sort of the merry condo of backpackers then um, this is definitely a good pack to go for <laughs> coming around to the base uh, you saw me unclipping here some toggles so these essentially keep the front of the pack to the bottom um, again I don't know if it's super necessary but it allows you put, to pull everything nice and tight um, I suppose my main thing would be Whilst this does have an ice axe loop, uh, if you're in a place where there's a risk of snagging, this is not a very streamlined rucksack in that sense. Um, there's a lot of things that could potentially catch. So I would definitely call this more of a backpacking pack as opposed to like a mountaineering pack. Um, but again, that's my personal interpretation. Um, so you undo those clips and then you've just got a big flat bottom. And in here um, underneath is the rain cover. It's even signed rain cover. And then you pull it out shebang it's uh, attached by velcro you can take it off if you want to and it's just a very classic um, draw cord design with a couple of little loops so you can attach it to the rucksack so it doesn't blow off which is great because all the old school uh, designs of these guys they just blow away <laughs> um, I know some people are like anti rain covers but I'm not I'm I don't really like to use a liner so rain covers work for me that is that clip that back up nice and tidy um, cool Let's flip it around to the back of the rucksack. So one thing you'll find if you actually play around with this and go and try one of these is the actual frame that sits against you from the shoulder straps to the hips, it all feels very, what's the word? Reinforced. Um, it's very comfortable. It's very uh, ergonomically designed to fit against the human body. Uh, so a lot of packs these days as they're trying to cut down weight, basically they're just pieces of fabric with some foam on them. But Low Alpine have not compromised here on essentially um, the performance and the moulding of the frame that goes against your body uh, to allow for maximum comfort really. So the shoulder straps um, are, they've, they've sort of got this, this mesh webbing here, um, they've got sternum straps, which you can move higher or lower, depending on your shape, whether you're male or female. Um, and there's no pockets on the shoulder straps, but that's not a problem for me. I don't use them anyway. Um, we've then got the hip belt, which is non-removable, so it's fully attached to the pack. And they have got built-in hip pockets, which is a wonderful thing, um, which I really like. The hip belt clip is massive, <laughs> good old school chunky clip to put around you um, which is again really easy to use with your gloves and then the back itself is actually adjustable um, so it's, it's velcro essentially so you can slide it up slide it down uh, and they have different sized frames for different sized people and they actually use on the back an air contour carrying system that's what they call it which uses a thermo molded back pad with integrated mesh to help disperse the heat and moisture when the load is sort of full uh, and just to maximize that sort of tailored fit that we've talked about already. And then finally coming to the sides, we have yet more compression straps, um, which none of these are removable as far as I can tell. No, they're really stitched into the, the rucksack there. So you kind of got to deal with it. Um, we've got some uh, water bottle pockets 
I have to say I haven't got on with those too well because I just find them a little bit too high for me. So when I'm trying to reach to get my bottle, it's just that bit too much of a stretch. So I think they could have been slightly shallower, um, but that's just me. I'm 5'7", I'm a wee human. Um, so there we go. And then as you can see, I've gone for sort of the night blue color and they also have it in black as well. Um, you've got sort of daisy chain webbing on the front if you wanted to attach anything else. Um, and I have to be honest, whilst that's taken me a while to go through, that is most of the features of this pack. As I say, you've got your ice axe loop um, over here so you can sort of attach things um, or an ice axe or walking sticks, whatever you want really. And that is the pack. <laughs> I feel like I need to take a deep breath after that. There's so many different things. It's so rare I get to talk about a product that has so much going for it. <laughs> um, you know, my personal opinion of this rucksack is that I think it's a fantastic investment piece. I think if you're new to backpacking and hiking and you want something that's going to cover you for day hikes as well as multi-day adventures, then this pack is going to hit so many different marks. Uh, you're going to be able to play around with lots of different features from the top pockets to the side pockets to the front access to the loops on the bottom um, to the hip belt pockets to the size of the frame. And I think it's just, you know, it's going to last you a few years where you can really figure out what works and what doesn't work for you, what's missing, what's not necessary. And that's why I'm such a big fan of this product, because I think it's so easy to get caught up on, oh, I need the latest, lightest piece of gear, but it's just not true. That's sort of our materialistic nature that forces us to need to fit into this particular tribe. Whereas the reality is a backpack is a backpack. To put it quite bluntly, you don't even need this to go hiking. You just need a cheap school rucksack. So long as you've got everything you need in it, <laughs> food, water, whatever, then you're covered. But I think if you're looking for an investment piece that is going to see you from entry level to experienced hiker, explorer, person, <laughs> then this is the one for you. Because this backpack is gonna serve you if you're hiking hut to hut in the Alps, if you're bivvying on your local Iron Age hill forts, if you're backpacking the Cotswold Way or the Southwest Coastal Path, or if you're just out and about with friends for a day hike. This covers it all. It's got so much space, so much customization points. And I think whilst 1.77 kilograms is not the lightest, you get so much for it. So I have really enjoyed playing around with this pack and I will continue to do so for, well, as long as I have it. <laughs> and uh, I really hope that this has been an interesting review for you because it's not very often I actually get to play around with pieces of kit like this. I haven't touched a rucksack or a new rucksack for quite a while. So thank you for watching. If you have any comments, let me know below. If you use this rucksack, how have you got on? I'd love to know, I'm very interested. Um, I will continue to share my experiences. I very often do updates. Um, and I wanted to say thank you for hanging out with me right now because I really enjoy your company. And uh, as I say, let me know how you get on, try before you buy, see if you can get second hand. And in the meantime, enjoy your adventures wherever you end up. And until next time, stay wild. I'll see you soon. Bye.